come with weapons he didn't come with swords he came with information he came with an idea he came with some thoughts but check the thoughts he came with they were contrary contrary to God's knowledge contrary to God contrary to the truth that God had given them contrary to divine instructions and once the woman embraced the lie and passed it on to the horseman the devil had the victory now for us to stop the devil we need to cast down imagination that contrary knowledge we need to bring it down and we need to bring every other thought that is contrary every thinking that is contrary to the truth we subject it to the word of god and put it under as inferior as untrue as not reliable and hold on to the truth and that's why the scripture says fight the good fight of faith it has to do so apostle paul certainly got his his terminology of strongholds from the old testament you can remember when david ran into strongholds to hide himself when he was running away from saul hiding away from saul a stronghold therefore is a structure a device that is used to conceal to secure to protect but in this negative sense if Satan has created a stronghold around you and we want you to be free we need to break down the strongholds and how we do it is through the word of God by pumping the truth to destroy the as the strange facts that have been lodged into our heads and recently I decided to separate facts from truth and that's the way I've gone about dealing with strongholds well this may be a fact but it's different from the truth so what do I call the truth the truth is anything that passes this eight litmus test and if <coughs> this test if what you are holding on to does not pass through this test reduce it to the level of facts and should be overthrown philippians chapter 4 verse 8. from the same apostle paul philippians chapter 4 verse 8. maybe i'll start from verse 6. be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with, with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god and the peace of god which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus 8. finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things so let, let's look at the list number one it must be true Number two, it must be honest. Number three, it must be just. Number four, it must be pure. Number five, it must be lovely. Number six, it must be of good report, some good testimony. What's the next number? Number seven, it must have virtue, <coughs> some value some virtue some worth then it must if there be any praise then it must be something that brings forth praise now many most of the things that the devil uses 
to hold us bound and put us down do not pass this test especially number one it's usually not true and the major war is how to use the truth to overthrow apparent facts it might be a fact that i am sick and sickly but that is a verifiable fact but that is not the truth i don't want to sound confusing it might be a fact that right now my pocket is empty but that is not the truth the truth it's a fact that i am lacking right now is a fact but that's not the truth so then what is the truth thy word is truth so what's the truth what's your true financial status in the view of the word of god for a child of god but with the blood of jesus redeemed for a child of god who believes in jesus what is the truth concerning your finances what is the truth concerning your spiritual strength whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world who is he that overcomes the world but he that believes that jesus is the son of god that is the truth but this man that is born of God is presently facing some crisis that looks like the world is putting him down. In fact, as a matter of fact, he is down. Yet he is born of God. And the scripture says, whatsoever, whosoever is born of God overcomes the world. So who is he that overcomes the world? He that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And this man believes that Jesus is the Son of God. But he's having crisis and he's on his back. How will this play out? In the face of facts staring us in the face so what is the truth and what is the fact strongholds Satan has learned the use of strongholds over the years and he knows how to approach man he approaches man he approaches man through his sight to persuade him from what he's saying through his feelings to persuade him from what he's feeling and what i preach to you i preach to myself so how are you going to win in the face of what you're seeing what you are hearing what you are feeling you begin to think and you develop a mindset let's look at an old sunday school story to see how facts work against truth and to see who has the audacity to come up with the truth and prevail. First Samuel chapter 17. It's a, an old Sunday school story. How many of you went to Sunday school as kids? Let me see your hand. Did you ever read the story of David and Goliath? <laughs> sure, now let's go back to our kids' days. So who won the battle between David and Goliath? David won the battle. How big was David? Small stature. And how huge was Goliath? Whoom. but who won the battle and with whatever you could say and whatever was apparent there was no chance no one gave David any chance of winning my struggle is this how did David escape from that terrible mindset that had taken everyone captive I think it's a good way of bringing you to confronting facts with truth for samuel 17 and this i trust god will help you to identify the present strongholds that the enemy is using to keep you down break out of it and take a step boldly 